Greetings, Kevin here. In a very quick video, I just successfully replaced the battery in this Dell XPS machine. Um, it was having a battery issue where the uh, machine would turn on. Um, it would say there's no battery connected, or it'll, it would either say there was no battery connected, or it was trying to charge, and then after 10 to 15 minutes, it would power cycle and basically shut down and restart. Um, but other than that, I replaced it with a genuine Dell battery because sometimes the Dells and HPs in particular complain about batteries being um, non-genuine because they don't have the authentication chip and they basically say, oh, this is a non-genuine part, you know, I'm not going to charge and or they do other stupid bullshit, which um, technically it's illegal because um, I'm, well, I'm not a lawyer, I do believe it's um, illegal in things to just basically say, hey, look, you know, replace your battery and, um, you know, you should be able to replace your battery with whatever battery, if it's a compatible one or whatever, you know. Uh, but yeah, so the battery in this one was that, this is the dud, um, the faulty one, which is a Dell 60 watt hour one. Uh, it's a big, big chunky one. It's like a um, pillow, I mean, not a spicy pillow, but um, it's like a thing that takes up like half the keyboard down there. And um, yeah, so now I've got this one. I've been running this for about an hour and has not turned off at all. And none of the symptoms of a um, of a you know uh, battery problem have um, have resurfaced. So yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm going to charge it out. And um, yeah, I hope you've learned something um, because sometimes replacing your battery um, can solve power issues and um, yeah, prevents you from being super out of pocket. Um, yeah, but until next time, um, whenever that is, take care and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.